Hi little skeletons, it's Disney Queen Skell here, and welcome, welcome to another Chatting Skeletons. Today we will be talking about a very touchy subject for me, and it's my weight. Um, at a young age, I was always a very skinny baby. I barely ate much, I was still healthy, but I didn't really double my weight um, until maybe about a year old, and most babies are supposed to double it in like six months. I was always so tiny, but as I got older, um, I was still fairly tiny, but I was pudgy, if that makes any sense. Like, I wasn't hitting the weight that my doctors wanted me to at certain points, but I wasn't exactly the skinniest kid either. Then at about 10, I was bullied for my weight, and I had pretty bad issues for about seven years on my weight and how I looked and how self-conscious I was. And everyone told me, you're so skinny, you're so skinny. But, you know, when you have that mindset of, like, I'm not pretty enough, you know, blah, 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 you don't really see yourself as skinny. So I just had major self-image issues from, like, the age of 10 till the age of 17. And I eventually got better. I mean, I still have self-image issues, but they're not as bad as they used to be when I was younger. You know, I when I was younger, I didn't really want to eat so I could lose the weight. But, you know, when you're like that, you can't really see yourself as, like, skinny at all. You just see yourself as big. And, like, no matter how much you don't eat or you try to do that kind of stuff, you know, it never helps, you know. But anyway, that aside, <laughs> um, I've been better for about five years now. And I have my family and friends to thank for that. But now, unfortunately, um, I was working at Knott's for years. For, well, not for years, but I worked there for like nine months in the games department. And I kept my weight down after I got out of high school. Because in high school, I was doing like dance like 20 hours a week, maybe longer than that. And I was keeping the weight down and, you know, my metabolism was so quick and it was just so easy to eat like anything you wanted when you wanted to, if you wanted to. And the next morning you'd wake up and you'd hardly look like you ate a thing. But after I quit knots, I went to go work at the mall. And of course, I was sitting down a lot. So the weight just started packing itself on. And eventually, before I knew it, I went from a size 5 to a size 12. I gained about 50 pounds in like three years. And I was like, are you kidding me? So I've been wanting to better myself. And because I've gained weight, you know, my my self-esteem has just been down the gutter. I haven't done anything like obviously drastic again because that messed up my health entirely. I have migraines. My doctor told me I have a calcium deficiency. I suffer from low sodium and iron. It's just it's a lot of fun. Anyway, nowadays though, I've been trying to find something that sticks with like dieting and exercising, and I think I finally found a routine. Um, my plan is to eat out once a week. That way I can still kind of get that unhealthy, you know, binge here and there. But then work out um, three days, take off a day. Work out three days, take off a day. That's how my mom always did it. Three days on, one day off. Three days on, one day off. And I think that'll work for me, especially because hubby is actually being there for me in terms of helping me lose weight. So my eventual goal is to get to 110. I don't exactly want to be 95 pounds again, but you know, 110 seems like a pretty healthy weight, and I'm hoping to maintain that. If I gain muscle, that's fine. I'm not going to complain. He wants to gain muscle too, and I'm really proud of him for being there with me through this because it's one thing to do it on your own and succeed, but it's another when you actually have someone doing it with you, and I think that's a big part of why everyone seems to quit their routines is because they don't have the motivation to do it, or at least they don't have one that works for them. For some people, it could be before and after pictures. For some, it could be um, the idea of what you may look like in like a few months. For me, it's having my hubby here with me to do this with me because I felt like if I didn't have anybody, then I wouldn't be doing it at all. So anyways, that is my Chatting Skeletons uh, quote-unquote podcast for today. Thank you guys so much for listening. Bye, little skeletons. Stay safe. Love you guys.